Nadeo Sensei. And good evening, Sensei. Good evening, good evening. Susan. Susan Spence okay. has dropped by to visit and share. Ah, so are we here? Are we all here? Uh, we have 29 participants uh, counting yourselves. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm looking for other self in the hidden domain. Okay. Uh, okay. Right now, I don't like the word hidden. I know since I used it, I think we have a sense about it uh, in the manifest. Uh, people weren't aware of as clearly as they could be or not aware at all about the hidden that is the domain self in the domain self. Okay, uh, so I'm going to drop the word hidden and probably just use the word do domain. So manifest domain. Okay, we'll hold off the heavenlies. Don't worry about that yet. We got a lot of work to do in the domain. Uh, so where are we? Where are we? Um, I don't know where we're at. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, nothing to do with anything, but I like the words. This is an article on training cells to fight disease. Uh, take cell-based therapies and utilize them. Uh, cells have remarkable uh, tools and networks of molecules. They are incredibly complex. In the tiny package of a cell, there is incredible intelligence. I, I like the wording. The intelligence of all the stuff. Okay, I got to figure it out. No, I got to settle and open. And as the energies gather and mix, things are figured out kind of thing goes on over here something about uh, that ah, a drug it's okay uh, can have an effect but it's not alive okay it's not sensing and making decisions what a cell can do is it can move through the body, sense things, make decisions, and have more complex re uh, responses. I like the wording. Don't want to get into it. I'm not of that caliber science, but I like the wording there. Okay. Ah, oh. what are the basics here? In the manifest, the heavier dimensions, which I call matter, finer of that, finer energy dimensions, okay? And some balance with that, some shifting from idea to feeling, to sense feeling, to get into the uh, finer dimensions of that. Uh, so that's our first approach, that's our setup. And so we're squared away. I call a unit squared away. I call a, that that's squared away a unit. Okay. Uh, and there's, again, depending on individual people, following those sensei's words, he said some can pick it up early, pick up self, sense of self early. Others a little bit later, which means to me, a little finer dimension before the self can begin to murmur through there, try to show itself. He said, some will miss it completely. Uh, that would be getting the finer and finer, get so fine and so nice and finer and finer that somebody could go on forever with that and not catch. But through that, there is self in the domain. Next, a very important piece. Oh, okay. Are we okay on that? Settling down basics. Yeah. Uh, so when we're doing the chants, uh, for example, the uh, Mami Mu Men Mo, 
I do it the other way around. Yayi yu yehyo, mami mu memo, easy, finer dimension of yayi mami, easy, finer dimension sensed. Okay. And as those two get in relation better at those finer levels, any place in there, we could make the shift, got to make up words here, the shift or the trade-in of all of that to self in the domain. Did I miss something, Susan? And you can use the other, um, you can use fire water. Oh, yeah. She. Uh, all those var variations, fire, water, he, she, uh, up, down, in, out, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, well, sensei would say, when you're following a pattern, stay on that pattern. For example, if you're using fire and water as a pattern, don't, uh, after 10 minutes or halfway through, shift to he, she, or shift to yayi, mami. Uh, it's a very important to, uh, be steady on the one that you're using okay then he said you all have uh, one first preference okay uh, so in my earlier years i liked fire water uh someplace along the line i also liked chanting form um but anyway he'd say try a couple of the others you get a bit different flavor of things by trying some of the others, okay? But you will have your favorite. Try a couple of the others just for fun. Okay, yeah? Anybody wanna jump in with anything? We're talking about that first basic settling, being present, starting to make a dimensional shift, using balance as a reference whether it's up and down or center circle or yayi, mommy or whatever. Are we okay so far? You can open mic if you want. No, nothing, nobody, we fine. Well, since this is Lauren and uh, I'm struck uh, listening to you about um, uh, the, the processes that we do whether it's uh, practicing a waza or uh, doing a chanting or uh, uh, that we have to give them time, we have to go deep enough into them, into them to allow them to work their magic and that we, we can't su superficially flit from, from whether it's waza to waza or process to process or balance to balance, that you, you just to, that we have to really do them fully and deeply and give them time and repetition and uh, to, to, to trust that. That might be, might be what was meant. Uh, I believe it came from Osensei, it exists in Aikido someplace, where if you do one technique, uh, help me here, Lauren, you remember the phrase better than I. Right. If, if one if, technique and you major on one, if you... If, if understand you, them all if you master one you, you'll it's, 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 classically he said it uh, about the uh, suwari waza shomenuchi ikkyo all right you can do this you can do every technique yeah yeah you know? got to go finer and finer deeper yeah. and deeper inner and inner finer uh and then you'll at some place there you'll begin to see the similarities of things right you'll be able to shift to another technique but you've got the pattern, bing, bang, kind of thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Bob, may I? Yeah. Uh, there was another one of his, one technique practiced full body, mind, and spirit is worth 10,000 techniques practiced half-heartedly, which yeah. I think was a way of saying that something about what he was, you know, that it's a short path if you do it right. Yeah. Yeah, half-assed doesn't seem to work well. Uh, um, right. What, what, he, right. One, one technique done right is worth a thousand done wrong. Yeah. 
But Sensei, I did mine faster. That's nice. <laughs> Where are you? Who's doing it? What's the what's the deeper of it? Yeah, that's where we lose a lot of Aikido people. They get we're caught up in the extrinsic. They get a little level of settling, and then suddenly the technique gets better, and the doom they stay at that level for a long time. It may be forever. Uh, uh, this ongoing inner quest, ongoing inner experience, uh, that's, as far as I'm concerned, critical. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, the domain, the domain. Uh, I, may, I may need that, yeah. No. Warren, do you know the kanji that they use there? Would you translate that as hidden? The kanji they use where? When he, whatever kanji he used when he said, you know, manifest hidden divine. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I, I'm just wondering, you know, it, somebody translated it as hidden, but you know what I mean. Uh, I, I don't know them offhand. And uh, I'd have to actually see what kanji or sensei used because you know it's it's not unique to him this and so uh in any case i want to turn it back to nado sensei I'll, i'm happy to chat with you richard mm -hmm. okay. uh so uh prior to this domain and self i don't know how to draw this okay there's so much we don't know yet about domain. I'll help as best as I can, but this is brand new territory, okay? Uh, so we, uh, my word, we trade in. At the level we're at, everything that's there, we trade in. We could call it a downtime. We could call it all dark, easy. Don't panic it, dark, dark, boom, okay? Now in doing trade-ins, in the manifest, we use short forms. Uh, Bobby trades in, boom, there can be a Robert there. Somebody's got a little more juice and more and more Robert there. So we've had practice of trading in at uh, uh, earlier, lesser levels in the manifest, okay? Uh, this is a big time trade in uh, where whatever your sense and your sensed experience of the manifest universe is, okay, when you hit that uh, balance place, a calmness place, a clear place, a dark place, all of those are pretty much the same. So I tell you, don't stop there. So, oh, I'm clear. Oh, I'm going to be here forever being clear or calm. Great, great. But eventually, their paths through locations is really a gateway to be able to shift either in the, in the manifest into a finer dimension, okay, where the mix is better, or especially to trade in for the uh, underlying. Uh, Self in the realm, self, self-experiencing itself. Uh, we said, okay, with a trade-in or a downtime or a let it all go and, and, and boom. Okay. All right. Is that, you can open mic again. Is that piece all right? We can move this so you know, let's put it over there someplace. Right there. Anybody want to comment? Well, I, I'd say, uh, since as I hear you, um, you're saying don't change the practice, change the approach to the practice. So change the training the, is what go of what I thought I knew, um, and approach the practice. From a new perspective, a new center. Yeah, I don't know. Is approach the right word? Let's see. The uh, not jump a little faster, but you have the ability with 
potentially any level of balance, any say decent level of balance to potentially move into the underlying of self and domain. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna make that shift, I don't know, we'll try calling it up, which is what we've done uh, in, you know, uh, uh, with the uh, saying something like, uh, we trade it in and it's kind of like there's an open stage and self is here. I'm sort of opening to it. Now, whether it's there or not, it will be if I'm better balanced, trade it in, whatever you want to call that, and self, easy self. So we've been using that pattern. It seems to me to be all right. We've got to start someplace. Is that, is that okay? We're on the same page. Is that, is that what you meant by approach, Kenneth? Um, yeah, the, to the person in the, pra the, the thing that I bring to the practice. You know, Very important. I'm practicing chanting, Nikyo, Shionage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Sensei's pretty strong on, uh, it's very personal. Uh, so Bobby Robert Nadal should make this approach. He would correct you if you tried to be how St. Paul did it. I'm gonna do it like St. Paul did it. He'd go, ah, no, no. He told me a couple more than once, don't mimic me. I'm glad you like me, but don't mimic me here. It will get in the way. You have to do you. Uh, appreciate his style, learn from his patterns, but it's me doing similar patterns. Me to myself. Uh, very, very important. Uh, so watch out for, uh, gotta be careful. So I was just gonna say being too Christian. Uh, oh, I gotta be careful here. But it is very personal. Well, since he used the word uh, selfish, but he said it's not selfish, but it's selfish. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we can't skip ourselves, pass on ourselves, uh, try to be somebody we're not. Uh, just, so I don't mind starting as dumb Bobby. Angry Bobby, I don't, I don't mind. It's, it's the beginning of a lineup. I trade it into a finer dimension. He's not quite as dumb, he's not quite as angry. And I trade it in, but I'm, I'm staying on me. Okay, and that seems to facilitate that move into self. Susan, you got anything to say about that? <laughs> Did that answer your question, Kenneth? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Thanks. Uh, so we said a few things. Anybody, any, anything there with that? Whatever we said. I think. Okay. Uh, in this movement into the domain, well, Sensei stresses a lot. Uh, self. Okay. Uh, so Mike, I saw you were on, uh, you saw me glitch a little bit when you said, wow, the domain. And I did, I glitched a little bit because it's going to be very important to be the self experiencing itself in the domain self, more feeling of itself in the domain. I, I get a little afraid if people go, whoa, because they'll become floaters or, oh, since they call them or, orbiters. They're aware of. But in that awareness, they miss the, uh, well, aliveness at first. They, he'd say tex texture. He said the texture of the realm is a little bit different than heretofore you've experienced. So texture different than it was in the manifest, heavier, finer dimension. Somehow the texture is different. And if you're just aware, you, you don't quite catch the textural difference. And that's important that that be experienced. Is that, is that okay? Mike, are you okay with that? Or I 
tweaks a little yes, bit? No, I, <laughs> I mean, sensei. Um, yes, I, I think one of the difficulties in this whole thing is, you've mentioned it many times, the use of language, that each of us you know, has our vocabulary that we use and each word that we know we associate a particular meaning with. So if I use a word in a particular way, I'm clear about what I mean, yes. but how you are used to um, um, appreciating that word may be slightly different. I feel an experience um, that I'm on track with what you're saying in, inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can change my words as, as long as, what, what, what do you say? Uh, uh, as long as you're what? Essentially doing a similar thing? <laughs> yes. If I say feel and you think about feeling, then you can't say, why? Well, I, I think feel. And I know feeling is experience of self experiencing itself as self kind of thing. So yeah, if you have to change the words because they mean more to you, fine. Uh, and I'll leave that open, yeah. yeah. So thank you. Yeah, and I was also just gonna say that um, just from particularly what you're saying today is that um, when you're practicing, if you feel it's not, well, my words again, it is not working particularly well. So <clears throat> I'll give up on this channel um, uh, uh, path that I'm trying and then I'll change and I'll do the technique a different way for instance and see if that works better that, that rather than that approach if I've been going down a particular path and I'm struggling the, the real answer is to relax and settle and go deeper on that path because there's more there to learn anyway and that, that it's yeah. oh yeah yeah it's a dimensional from heavier to finer and again, they stay on the path you, the practice pattern that you're using. Don't halfway down there change patterns. It gets a little confusing apparently. Yeah. But uh, someplace along the way, not that day, but maybe a different day, you try a different pattern approach just to get a different flavor on, on it. Okay. So one day you do Yayi Mami pattern. Okay. And you see how far that can bring you. And then uh, maybe you do that five days in a row. And then the sixth day, uh, you do a fire water pattern or uh, the great he, great she pattern or whatever. But just stay on the pattern for that time, for that practice time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it can be easy, I think, to want to shift. If you, let's say you're doing fire water and seems like nothing's quite happening or that things aren't shifting at first. Remembering that it's that percentage game and you stay with it and stay with it. And the percentage of self showing will continue as you stay with that practice. But I think, you know, starting out, it can be a little easy to think, well, nothing's, nothing's really happening here. It doesn't, doesn't seem like much is happening. I'm not feeling that much. And it might be easy to make that shift to something else. But like you're saying, just staying with that form that for the day. Pattern, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Um, let's see. I wanted to say something about soaking. Huh? Soaking. Soaking. Okay, oh, sensei's been hotsy totsy with the word soaking. Ah, where to place that? It seems like it comes up, uh, let's say, on a trade in uh, <clears throat> that there be some soaking, whatever that means to you. Soaking. It's not an idea, right? It's a soaking. And that soaking seems to facilitate moving through to the next. I don't know if I can lay it out much better than that. Just the word soaking comes up a lot and uh, seems to be an important word. And I myself would like to have more practice time with soaking. Okay. But it seems to be related to all the stuff you're trading in, you soak there. And that seems to facilitate the pass through into the next. 
Okay, so just a little tip, do with it what you will. And did he say that different people will have a different experience with soaking? Yeah, uh, something, I believe so. I, yeah, I believe that. How they handle soaking or what happens while they're soaking could vary a bit from person to person. Okay, so my sense of soaking uh, might be different than your sense of soaking, but I think it behooves us because it brings it up a lot and gives a bit of importance. Uh, it's a good trick to know. It's a good something, uh, whatever, if you have a mind to. Uh, so when a certain amount is being traded in, that there's a soaking. Whatever. Okay. Uh, self, self, self. So. Remember the percentage gain. Very important here. <clears throat> so let's try it sitting. Uh, so settle. Da 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 da. Finer dimension. Da 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 da. Easy. Shifting from thinking to feeling. Easy. Finer dimension sense. Sensing dimension, let's say. Any sense of harmony or balance or stillness or peacefulness or calmness or dark, whatever, clear. A lot of people stop there. Wouldn't do that. Okay. See, a person who's been nervous learns to meditate and touches the calm place, it's probably like, wow, finally, calmness. And potentially they'll stay there forever or think that's it. Uh, it's, it's like the beginning of a good doorway. Uh, all right, so I think that's, uh, those things have been misconstrued. Peace, calm, still, uh, light, oh, light, quiet, quiet, uh, uh, whatever, dark. Uh, they're great. And they're not a nothing. The great void is not a nothing. The great dark is not a nothing. Uh, somehow or other, that experiences or feels itself. Boom. Okay. We have a tendency with too much awareness to see a dark. You're meditating and suddenly oh, it's all dark. And to, from a distance, go, oh, what's that? And you don't read it right because you're too far away for one thing. And you make up stories about it. It's empty, therefore nothing's going on. It's all dark, therefore nothing's going on. And you don't hang out with it. You don't feel, for lack of words, what it's feeling. Okay? If you were to do that, then, then all those things will begin to show different. The experience of them will be different. Okay. So to me, they're great clues that you've done a pretty good job of balancing when you reach a vast calm, vast still, vast balance, vast light, vast all dark. Oh, good, certain level. Now let's use it as a pass through. Let's feel it, for lack of words, feeling itself as it trades in, for lack of words, to the next. In this case, we're going for self in the land of domain, in the domain, yes, self in the domain, okay? Uh, I think I would like to uh, make an approach, again, percentage game now, so everybody, Everybody, Susan, everybody, downtime, whatever form you're using, trading in. And here is the self in the realm. Okay, easy. I'll say it again self in the realm. Okay. Now to remind you, in a certain way, I don't expect much. It's a percentage game. See, I may not even be in the realm. I may be still 
uh, kind of invested fairly heavily in the manifest, even though finer energies of manifest. Uh, but at least I'm getting closer. Okay. I'm presenting myself and calling it up. Uh, so I'm getting closer. I don't expect it to suddenly be there. Shazam! Okay. Percentage game, people. Percentage game. Okay. Uh, and again, uh, yes. Yeah. At that point, you talk about soaking. At that point, do we want to indulge more in that uh, before we trade it in so that we really get the, the full yes. appreciation? Yes, yes. But now we're going a little faster, so do that on your own time, but yes. Uh, there's a sense, I think I promote sensei, that uh, a, a better soaking facilitates a fuller in a fuller residence in the next, for lack of words, it facilitates it. Okay, so that's what I like to fine tune it and, and pick up better how, why it facilitates that click into the next, either finer, depends where you are in the manifest, or important for us now, the self in the realm. So, so yes. Thank you, Steve. Okay. <clears throat> Settling. Whatever your sense of the universe is, whatever, easy. Sensing. I always double check, make sure I'm not thinking too much. Okay. Ain't going to make it there. Thinking, feeling, feeling, the finer feeling, finer feeling to it. Sense of sensing. Okay. Ah, maybe a quick check for some sense of balance. Even just feeling the way my hands are moving. I, I, I'm getting a little feedback that there's a balance here. This one isn't heavier than this one or faster. There's a sense of balance. Okay, it's not that I stay in the body and, and do it that way. I don't mean that, but, but in this sense of balance, it happens to show through my body a certain way. Okay, now find your own words, trading it in, downtime, whatever you want to call it, to the underlying domain, to that domain of self, easy, self. Now, hopefully your sense of what the self might be is a hair better than two minutes ago. Okay, it's a percentage game. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll ask for some feedback. What's your sense of self? Easy, settle. Oh. Okay, finer, finer, trading in. Domain that underlies self. Self. Okay. Now, again, I don't know how close we are, or how far away we are, or how much of it is here. It's a percentage game, but from wherever you are, what's your sense of self? And can you keep it uh, short and sweet and to the point? Somebody, open mic now. What's your sense of self? Nobody want to jump in? Susan, what's your sense of self wherever you're at here? There's some emanating, there's something emanating up through the system, radiating through the system sense that there's more, but there's a distinct texture change in the system. Okay. Now, it's possible for some of you to get confused between what she's saying and some kind of basic settle and here comes more energy. You feel more energy sort of radiate through. I don't create a fight there. It's a percentage game, whatever. 
I hit it again and do it again. Okay, so if I was still in the manifest feeling an energy beat, uh, doesn't matter, I'll just continue again and eventually it'll be self and the realm is there, self experiencing itself. Somebody, what's your, what's your sense of self? What's your sense of self at this stage of the game? Don't ponder it, Mike. It's sense of self. <laughs> Sensei, it's Patrick. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Who, who that? Patrick. Patrick. Oh. Hi, Sensei. Patrick. Yeah, I have the sense of self as stepping forward and being ready for duty. It's kind of a sense of being present and ready for whatever's next. Okay, so that's self sort of stepping forward and saying, hey. Yes. Okay. It's not Patrick, I'm getting ready to do something, right? Correct. Okay. So self seems to be more present and, and getting ready to be more alive. I, I just, boom. Okay. Okay. So we have this first sense of something there, right? Uh, a good trick is uh, so we don't wander off is the aliveness. I, I like to push that because again, we have a propensity throughout the universe of too much awareness and not enough experience of. So I'm always gonna push that self experiencing feeling its own aliveness. I'll use that word aliveness for a while, aliveness. So sensei would use a different word, uh, but I like this as a warm up word aliveness of self with itself experiencing itself okay again it's a percentage game so it doesn't matter if you were here still in manifest uh, or closer where the little bits are bleeding through or actually starting to be there where more and more of it is actually it doesn't matter it's a percentage game we'll see okay so don't go crazy saying, was that it and we, yeah, yeah yeah well not now you're spinning off that away. Uh, none of that phases I me. Mean, I just continue. Ready? Yes, yes. In the domain that's here. Yes, okay. And if there's still residue of manifest stuff, fine. We gather it. Bring it in, trade it in, downtime. Find your own sense of that. And, and in the domain, self, self in the domain, self alive itself in the domain. Lack of words experiences itself as self, alive with itself. Somebody, what's your sense of self at this stage of the game? Yeah, it's right. It's, uh, from, it's, uh, it's like it's got its own movement. Okay, it itself is itself the way it moves. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it's not static, so it's it's yeah. active. It has a it has a movement of its own. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's very alive with itself, and by the way, that movement within itself uh, seems to be the first. What I would say is for self to improve on itself. Uh, that that aliveness, I, I use kind of a beat with that aliveness and, and that aliveness beat seems to activate its more fullness of itself, okay? There'll probably be an advanced form of doing that later, but I, I like to use just the aliveness kind of beat to get that going or facilitate. Whew. 
Thank you, Roy. Somebody, anything here? Your sense of self. For me tonight is um, down in my sacrum, and it's been in my sacrum for weeks now, but uh, it's a wave left and right. I'm sorry, David, I don't think we quite heard you. And so um, it's waving left and right and is uh, down in my sacrum, which um, has where it has been for weeks now. Did anybody hear that clearly? I believe that David is saying that the inner movement that he feels as his self is centered in his lower back. And he feels it moving left and right. Okay. Is that uh, right? Is that correct, David? Did I get it? Uh, yeah, lower back, um, um, sacrum, and tailbone, basically. Okay. Was that uh, better? Audibly? Yeah. Audibly? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and I might say, I might say, uh, careful of locking it into the body too much. We'll get into the thicker of manifest uh maybe in the realm uh maybe have a sense of its freedom with itself uh, i don't know if i want to lock it in too tight in the body maybe maybe i'm just saying watch it keep an eye on it something okay yeah yes thank you okay oh so we are trying to position uh, self. So they position with this, I call it person now. Uh, so self positions with the person, but I don't want to lock it into, I'm a self. I, am I doing that right? <laughs> oh, Susan? Yes. I, um, but David, you may be catching that self-center is related to being center. But yet it's nope. not that it up. tight, tight center. It's, but yes, it's related to <laughs> and positioned with. And Susan brought up another word of sensei's hot on uh, the proper positioning of self. Uh, first with itself, and then with the. Uh, realm it's in but especially self 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 really major in self uh and in susan's case she usually feels self uh as she was saying uh sort of coming up on the center yeah. but you have to lock it into your spine uh we're in a, we're in a different domain here okay so let's not take too much heavy and measure around in the domain. We might get in the way. If the domain uh, emanates, if the, emanates. anything from the domain emanates out, so be it. But, but you're in a different domain, a different, we're not in the manifest anymore, okay? Unless you are in the manifest, in which case, Keep pumping the pump here <laughs> and 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 eventually self domain self that other piece that what I call paper sometimes called it glass that that piece that underlies okay so if I'm hanging on too heavy to the sketches on the paper it's sort of hard for the paper self to express itself. Don't know if I said it right, so I'll just get the drift of what I'm trying to say. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. David, would that be a good place, so in David's situation, or what he brought up, to take it, to let go of that, and then, so. Oh, to let go of all the body uh -huh. reference? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's referencing the body, dot, dot, dot. Good. Now taking all of that and trading all of that in, you're giving it up, trading it in, offering it uh, to 
the domain that underlies self that's there. So after a bit, we get a, a, this freer, freer self, whatever, whatever. And when I say freer, don't float on me, people. Don't, oh, I'm free. I'm going to float around. Well, since they would jump on you, okay? Self-experiencing itself, feeling its own aliveness, okay? Too many problems come up with the floaters, uh, what, what do you call it? Awareness? No. No. I don't know if I can find it now. Butterflies? Over. Hovers. Hover was a word. You hover around, you're going to miss a lot. And remember, we all have a history of being heavy duty with that. Okay. When I first meditated, pew, I went up into finer and finer and finer and finer. Okay. And eventually I said, wait, I think I'm missing something. <laughs> Is this it? This can't all be it. Then that down pull. What the hell is down? <laughs> was a brand new intro to me, okay? So anyway, we have a tendency, high percentage of folks, much too much awareness, not enough experience. Okay? It's very critical, it's very critical. But again, oh, since I said, he could have taught that form and had more students, but they would have missed eventually this, this critical thing, self-experiencing itself, feeling its own aliveness, continuing, that that, uh, and, and that experience will have awareness. So you're not saying no awareness, no awareness, you're saying, but not awareness first. Feeling, for lack of words, first. And feeling more alive, fuller, there'll be natural awareness. And because there's natural awareness, there'll be more feeling. Uh, so the uh, experiencing, I am aware, aware, I experience. See, within the self and that, and that bigger and bigger air, are, are, are both of those words, it's not two things, it's both of them experiencing and aware, and aware and experiencing. Okay, but I'm just warning you have a tendency to look around and float around. Okay, and that's why, again, back to Mike, that's why I said, hey, careful, Mike, I don't want you to be a, a looker around or floater because I'm, I'd be hard pressed to bring you into the self that's feeling. Because that's pretty fancy. Wow. Wow. Okay. How are we doing? Are we hanging in there? Bob, uh, Mike again, a, a quick question. Are the words realm and domain meaning the same thing or are they different? Uh, say that, I, I missed the first couple of words. Are domain and realm the oh, same? domain and realm, okay. Are they synonymous, Sensei? Are they the same? Uh, wait, I forget how I use realm. Well, you've been, you've been <laughs> using them somewhat interchangeably as, as you've spoken to it. And I'm not sure if you noticed or meant to. Uh, yeah, that's yeah what, I'm not that's sure how I used it, but definitely domain. I heard that word from O-sensei, so he brought it up. So I like the word domain, the domain, self in the domain. So I like domain. Realm, I, I get them. I'm totally blank at the moment of how I use it. Okay, so sorry. Can't help you, I don't remember. Hmm. Okay. Uh, another thing oh, Sensei uh, pushes on here is uh, uh, with the self is roots, roots. Uh, okay. So uh, another reason not to float up, oh, roots, self, as if the roots are even deeper uh, than even I ever thought, experienced. Uh, there's a lot of emphasis on self, self with self with roots. 
okay? Uh, so my practice in this next period of time will, will be to hang out deeper, and try to get a better sense of the roots of self, okay? Again, oh, roots, yeah, I know what that means. And you're up here, okay? The experience of roots. Anyway, he's been pushing on that word, okay? So uh, you got to figure some of these things out because I'm new here in this form. Or could I say I'm new here? Uh, probably a little bit ahead of you, but uh, but fairly new. So I'm I'm open for it to unfold itself and it to express itself. Okay. Uh, self, self, self. Uh, Susan and I have been funning around with moving into this domain of selves and asking other selves to present themselves. And we're doing it with her patient clientele. Uh, for example, uh, to see why the human system, the person is screwed up physically or within the family or whatever. Uh, and, and by dialoguing with the self, we're beginning to get a lot of nice information from the self. Uh, some misunderstandings by the self. So we're practicing to help me here. See if we can guide it in to be being better present, uh, aligned. Uh, what's the oh, sense a hot word here again? Uh, position, position better, so they have a better effect on the person. Okay, so when I come this way, I call this a person, or when I deal with her with her patients, a person is a self how they're relating to their person. Okay. Whew. You following any of this? Just want to let you know where we're kind of funding around at. Um, did I give you too much? Susan, help. So um, one example might be um, the qualities of a self might be clearer in dialoguing with a self, then they might be in person. That makes sense. So right. understanding the qualities of that self, understanding the qualities of that person can help facilitate, um, Green let's say a child, a kid being more of himself. Yeah. <sighs> That, that makes sense to me yeah <laughs> to me it does <laughs> uh, that the self precedes the person we've had many people but the self is self okay it it precedes uh got a call from somebody starting to bump into past lives uh a lot uh yeah, I just have to play with self. There might be a past life presentation to help facilitate your person now going, oh, oh yes, I've done that before. I've experienced that before. And just to speed your progress up in the manifest heading into more of self. Yeah. Okay, so that didn't surprise me because self is the library uh, of all my lives. They use the word Akashic records or something. To me, that's self. Self's the historian of itself. Your soul thing knows the beginning of you. It's soul self. Okay? It's big time. We got to start someplace here. Okay? Uh, somebody asked about the qu qualities of... Let's see if she's on so I don't waste my breath. Diane? Uh, Diane whom, Sensei? Florida. Florida. There are I'm afraid no Diane's available and today. I won't waste my breath on that one. <clears throat> Don't ask me questions if you're not going to be present at my show. 
Anyway, uh, where the hell are we? Oh, so, so we're seeing a lot of importance of, of the self uh, being present lined up here, here, all right? So again, uh, Dave, uh, uh, right, it, it, it's lining up here. I just didn't want it to be scrunched into the body kind of thing is all. But yes, uh, we're asking selves to line up better with their person, okay? And we're seeing some of them don't want to because of certain misunderstandings and things. So we're trying to facilitate their understanding uh, uh, where they will more fully, happily uh, align to uh, position with their person. Because I think if they're there, present, uh, uh, their radiation, their emanations, I'll sense I use like that word, their emanations can affect the energy body, physical body, uh, realm situation they're in, can help them to be a fuller person doing what they're supposed to be doing. When the self is there, in too many cases, the self is guiding from overhead, almost like a uh, puppeteer. It seems like much, 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 much better when, when the positioning is in the same zone. Again, I'm saying they don't go anywhere. It's all here. You see? And this too is here. Yes, it's a, a, a past finer dimension. Yes, it has its own name. Uh, uh, boom. It's its own piece, but it's, it's here. Inferring also, that's also what makes it easy. Nah, no, it's so easy. I'm still hearing that. Okay. Just how do we crack through this minor physical energy separation into that domain of the domain, presence of the domain? And the self feeling itself alive with itself. Da, 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 da. And so I think, as, so as you practice with this, uh, again, that sense of being present uh, or being in this area, I don't want to say be present because I don't want you out here looking around if the self is here kind of thing, but, but the sense of that self is, is, is here. You don't have to go physical and feel things or something like that, but here it's 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 here it's here when a sensei stood there he was there you could uh, to varying degrees depend on how good your eye was you could see it this emanation this presence a lot of people talk about that whenever you were near a sensei whoa this vibe this whatever and there was more there okay it was it was here and now Okay. What's it? I'm a physical person now. I'm angelic up there someplace. And uh, overlay, overlay, overlay. You catch that. I think we can pick up the pace. I think it can be even faster than I thought. Um, anyway. Did cool. you want to talk about self in the self domain? Also, can practice uh, center circle, can practice. Like yeah, water. you're getting ahead of me a bit. Oops. Well, it's all right. So the short form or the early form, uh, I'm saying, okay, uh, try to highlight self and self after a couple of beats. Self, a feeling it's experiencing its own, find your word, feeling its own aliveness in the domain. Self, self, feeling itself, its own aliveness. And again, with that, for me, that beat of aliveness enhances it. Later, uh, I don't want to jump the gun, so yes, for Susan, but there could be a bigger form of beats that enhances this. There could be a, a great he, great she, a Susano, Amo Tadasu, boom, boom, which will enhance this, this uh, self. But I wanted to start simple 
just to get this aliveness, feeling of aliveness of self with itself. Then later, uh, we'll talk about some possibilities as we get better with it or clearer with it. Uh, okay. Whew. Say something intelligent, Susan. It's, uh, back on the work that we've been doing, you know, some of the misunderstandings that that we uh, might find or that we have ourselves, it you know, can be simple misunderstandings. For example, the relationship of self with uh, what do you call it, manifest energies. So self-thinking, it has to do something about the energies when self is self. Self doesn't have to do something about world, uh, I don't want to say world, uh, manifest body energies. Uh, okay. Self doesn't have to come out to, pick, come out to pick up the glass. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, later, later, I didn't clear up. Oh, Sensei would say something like, uh, uh, all this stuff just happens. So all those things you see him doing, it would not like his self was doing them. But there's a certain level where those things happen and you're still self-retaining self as self. And those things happen. Yeah. Took him a little while to figure that one out. <laughs> so, but a little advanced. Let's 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 just get a better flavor. So, however you want to trade in or downtime, whatever word you want to use, to everything in your world at this moment, trading in. Boom. Playing the game that the next opening is not a finer dimension, although it could be, and you should spot that after a while, but the domain and the self that's present there. Okay. And in the early part, I would do drawing in the universe world as I know it and, and trading in. Okay, uh, till it feels, I don't know, like I've pulled in a lot or pulled in everything as best as I can, something like that. Yeah. And you'll probably begin to have a sense that you're doing a pretty good job because the sense of self somehow should increase. Yeah. After a while, having an uh, uh, what well, increased self, a self feeling itself more and more, then you can within the domain self, self can start to use some kind of two beat pattern to keep feeling itself, thus being more aware of itself, being, being feeling of itself, experiencing itself. Uh, yeah. Okay, so is that sort of clear? Semi-clear? Too weird for you? Mm. Bob, again, um, it's this, it's the, it's the use of the words. I, I'm, I'm certain that I experience and feel what you're trying to put over. Um, but it's taken a long time to be able to establish my, I don't know, thesaurus or whatever the hell you call it, of when you say this, I understand that. Um, because the way I've used those words in the past has been slightly different. The, the two words that come to my mind in terms of this process that you're taking us through is that we have to stop trying and start allowing. You know, we've been brought up from babies that yeah, you have no, to try no. harder, work harder. But okay. in Aikido, or the, the process we're talking about here is we've got to stop that and allow things to happen. Susan wants to say and experience them happening. Yes. Yeah. yeah. As we are brought up to look for the answer, right? Yes. Yeah. 
anyway, okay. Uh, Thank you, Mike. Uh, yeah, that's why, I, again, that percentage game, I, I love that because yeah, you allow, and there's a certain percentage of feeling, experiencing. Which something. might be a half of one tenth of a percent. Yeah. Who cares? It's a percentage game. And then you trade it in, and by law, there's yeah. going to be a greater percentage yeah. that can show itself. It's a percentage game. Everything's always been a percentage game. I sense your experience your center. Oh, I understand that. Yeah. One tenth of one percent. Experience your center. Physical body. Experience your center. And then there's somebody, else. oh, I just straightened up a bit. Good. Maybe 10%. I don't know. Good. But you're not 100% mind and one for your 90, 10. Hey, easy. Center. Center. Oh, 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 it's a little bit deeper than I thought. You're feeling it. Percentage has improved. That's all we've been doing all along the way. It's a percentage game. It's not yay, nay. <laughs> it's a percentage game on most of the stuff that we do. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Tom? 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 Hi, Sensei. Yeah. Uh, I love this percentage game because it 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 brings it into a practice that doesn't deny self, doesn't relinquish that whole practice. It 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 energizes from this percentage. The one thing that is uh, where self becomes extraordinary, and I have to bring it into a realm of okay, that was great, is when synchronicities occur. Um, it's a spark almost in the universe. When there's a synchronicity that happens, self tends to show itself. And yeah. uh, I, I call it balance, synchronicity. Okay, same difference. Yeah. Yeah. Something that lets you know you're at a place where sure. something yeah. can happen. Good. You have your own form. I like down dark. Okay, I like trade in. I come up with your own word, but it should be following that. I don't know the words pattern <laughs> somehow or other. Yeah. I clear and then I trade in. I clear, 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 and suddenly something else is there. Uh, you know, you all have your own little style in there. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, um, as you as you're oh, we're back into the manifest finer dimension. Let's say, as you're squared away at a pretty good level, uh, right there, uh, bits of self don't know how to say this. Beam can beep through, show through. Okay. okay. So as you get close. Uh, there could be moments where you sense something. I think some of you probably have tried to say that uh, when I said, uh, asked the question about uh, in past history, have you not had a sense sometime where something else was there? And many of you jumped on that and said, yes, yes. I was dot, 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 and suddenly bing. Uh, so as you get close, it can sort of blip through, okay? But you're still in manifest. I don't want to hang out just it blipping through now and then well since i said definitely that'll be hit and miss okay but it tells you you're you're close it tells you your your balance whatever you were using for balance uh whether you're a musician or a singer or whatever you're using for balance that you're doing a pretty good job with that unit uh, to where the self can bing, start to flip a little bit through Okay, now don't, well, since they would say, a lot of folks are just happy with that little blip through now and then. I expect you guys won't be. You want to keep going for the more of things, the more original of things, the truer of things. Uh, but I'm just telling you, 
uh, how you might be affected as you line up well and get close. There will be a little, I don't know what to call it, blip through, Susan, mm -hmm. blip through. Wafting. Yeah, so waft sorry. through. Um, but do catch the difference between something wafting through and the domain where the self itself is itself and how to line up there because that's the next big step to the next big step. Very important piece. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I'm sometimes surprised. Do you feel uh, funny around with uh, th this stuff? A little tired or blown out or something? Yeah. I, I noticed that at first. It's, uh, it's not a shock because I think in the earlier years of energy work, you'd let little energy flow through and I'd be like, holy shit, it felt like a workout. Uh, so just a continuation, although it's a whole different thing, it's still here and whatever, but it does at first whew, get me, whatever. Anybody, anything? We're finishing up time here. Oh, Tom, Tom, uh, I'm gonna go quickly. You do a certain pattern and you get to that at home place. Okay. All right. And so I suggested that at the at home place, enjoy the shit out of it, but maybe soak, soak, trade it in for the next. Okay. Uh, and I was thinking maybe it's a little, uh, might be advanced for some troops, but I'll throw it out to you. Uh, and maybe if you want for fun, uh, check your pattern for getting to the at home place, your sitting pattern, I believe it's a sitting pattern you use. Right. And then check your pattern when you're in the yard doing that one, where in the yard you felt the self was there, uh, clearer, fuller, easier, and, and, and just check You see, it's the same pattern. It's just in different forms. And I don't know. You might get something out of noticing the pattern of sitting to the comfortable place and the pattern, whatever you did in the yard, settling whatever, whatever, whatever you were doing on that pattern for the self to show a bit easier, faster, clearer. It might be a little fun. You get the drift? Yes. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of having you do uh, one and then shift, now do the yard one, get a flavor for it, and then shift, do the, again, the hot, the sitting to go home one. I thought, no, I might get too busy, a little too confusing, but uh, so just keep an eye on one pattern, fine tune your mapping of it or something, and then keep a check on the other one and, and, and see if you don't see the similarities, okay? Uh, and I'm saying again that the the yard one, because the self was showing there, you pass through better. You you process through better. How do I know? Well, the self was there, noticeably. Mm -hmm. At the at home one, pleasant as hell, but the self wasn't really showing yet. Uh, that's why I'd say continue with that one. So the self. In that form, whatever meditative style form you're doing, you can get to the same place of uh, in the domain self alive with itself. Okay. Oh, pooping out here. Well, Sensei, okay. maybe it's uh, time to uh, say thank you and uh, see you next week, same time, same channel. Okay. Uh, uh, hang on a moment. Susan, anything do you want to sum up here? For introducing, getting them to the domain self. Anything you want to? I want to say that practice of at that quiet, calm place, wherever it might be, that transition place. The soaking is a choice, and the soaking and allowing or asking for self to come through to show itself. That's a, that's a choice that you're making. Um, it's an active choice place. Um, so again, it can be kind of 
nice and easy to hang out at that transition place. But I feel like there's a place where I soak, I actively choose to soak, and then there's an active, uh, again, not, there's a, there's a choice that I- Trade in. A trade in. <laughs> yeah, but it's a choice. I am choosing to ask for self. Apparently some folks, self isn't as, I don't know the word, strong. I don't, don't know the word. And so they'll enjoy the energy thing, enjoy the peacefulness, the, the balance, the whatever, whatever, and, and not have quite a calling for, this is all nice, but who the hell am I really? Kind of thing, which would be a potentially a self call. Uh, so that's why I was saying, they said some people will miss it completely. If this, if their self, I'm not sure how to say that, developed enough. Remember, we have many levels of self, okay? Uh, uh, Maybe that would be a younger self, as you, you talk about us coming back and, and, you know, past lives and things that maybe what you just uh, uh, described is a younger self. It's a self that hasn't been around as many times as... Usually that's the... That would be a good example, yes. Not the only one, but good one, yeah. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is very simple uh, example that you've uh, told in the past that I've really found was very helpful for me because it was very visual. And that was that you're holding a, a glass of cream in your hand which you really like and you know you like and it's it's great stuff but over there on the table there is a jug of cream but the catch is if you want the jug you've got to put down the glass first yes. and then reach for the jug you and stole I, one of my yeah. old examples mike no i'm yeah. not giving you full credit for it i'm just saying oh. I've, always, I've always found oh, okay. that um <laughs> tremendous a really good um easy to uh, you know to see and visualize uh, example that's what we call level of comfortableness and we lose a lot of people at level of comfortableness they get happy with whatever's there uh, they're better than the norm hey look at me i'm better than the norm and that's it level of comfortableness so they stay there their call, I'm not saying bad, I'm saying too bad because they could continue and there's more, but if they don't have the sense, if they don't have the pull of something more, uh, so be it. I can't drag them over. It's their call. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mike. You can show, but you can't drag them. I mean, you can show it and hope somebody says, hey, you do great Aikido. Uh, uh, tell me how you do that. Tell me what you're doing or something. Maybe you can show somebody, but you can't force them to go through their own stuff. Okay. Whatever. Finishing up. Thank you very much, Sensei. Thank you very much, Susan Sensei, as well. And everyone, uh, there's a chance for one last comment if somebody has something they want to bring up. And I don't see any hands being raised. And so thank you, Sensei, and good night. Okay. Ciao. Thank you. Thank you very thank much, you everyone. Good evening, Susan. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Bob. Thank, thank you, you, Sensei. Susan. No, no. Hello, Sensei Susan. Much gratitude to you all. Thanks for a great session, Sensei.